Cloud code plus MCP servers make building apps feel like freaking magic. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to integrate your first MCP server into your cloud code agent to give it all of the different possibilities that that MCP server can provide. What is an MCP server? A model context protocol is basically a very simplified way for our AI models to communicate with any type of data that we may need. And in this video, guys, we're gonna be building out and connecting our Supabase MCP server, which is where our database lives. And our entire project runs on this database. And so when we give our AI agent access to the Supabase MCP server, it's gonna be able to execute any tools, read the entire schema, and help us develop this app a million times faster. After you learn how to do this, you're gonna be able to implement the same tips that you learned in this video and integrate any other MCP server that you need when you're building out your applications. My name is Kev and I have a startup called Creator OS, which scales iOS and mobile apps. And we use Cloud Code to build out these iOS apps. And so in this video, guys, we're just gonna jump right into Cursor. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how we're gonna set this up. All right, guys, so I'm in Cursor right here and I'm just gonna click Open New Project. And we're gonna call this project the MCP Server Test. Cool. So now we want to add our cloud code agent to this environment. And so in the top right hand corner, I'm going to toggle this panel here and that's going to open up the terminal and I'm just going to write in cloud. Now, if you haven't installed cloud code into your cursor environment or any IDE for that matter, then just watch the previous video that I uploaded on this channel and it'll show you how to set up cloud code inside of your cursor environments. So now that we're set up here, I'm just going to click enter and proceed. And now we could start talking with our agent. So the first command that we want to do here is the slash MCP command just to see if there's any servers that are connected and we can see that the agent has said that there's no servers configured. So now we're going to integrate our Subabase MCP server. So with the Subabase MCP, there's two different ways that we can integrate it inside of Cloud Code. Option one is a project scoped server and option two is actually locally right inside of the CLI command or inside of the command line interface. And that's the path that we're going to be taking today because Cloud Code for our builds lives inside of the CLI terminal. And so we're just going to copy this code and we're going to head back to cursor. I'm just going to tell Claude what I want to do. So I'm gonna say, I want to add a Supabase MCP server, please install it. And then I'm gonna paste in that code snippet. And then the only thing that we have to change about that code snippet is the Supabase access token that is used to actually access our database backend. And so inside of my Supabase dashboard here, I'm gonna to go to the top right hand corner. I'm gonna click on account preferences. And then I'm gonna head over to access tokens and I'm gonna generate a new token. Once you guys do that, you wanna save it somewhere safe and then we can head back to cursor because we wanna add that token right here where it says your token here. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'm gonna click enter. All right, so I'm just gonna paste that in. I'm gonna click enter. So the agent just said, I'll help you add the Subabase MCP server with the provided configuration. And then we're just gonna let Claude set the rest up. And so now we can see that it's added the MCP server with Subabase. And now it says the Subabase MCP server has been successfully added. And so now the last thing we have to do is just refresh Claude so that it has that information and that the server updates with this new MCP. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna then go into exit mode. So we're just gonna type in exit. And now we are outside of the Claude code environment. And now we're gonna open Claude up again one more time. And now we can test to see if the MCP server is connected. And there we go. We can see that the Supabase server is now added to our project. And for an example, guys, we can see that it has access to 28 tools. And so every single time you add your MCP server to Claude, they're all gonna be different because they're all different software providers. And we can always see what you're able to do with the server once you're connected. And so I'm just gonna click enter to view the tool Tools, and we can see that we could list organizations, get organizations, list projects, get projects. And inside of these directories, there's even more uh, calls that can happen. And so now the cloud code has my Subabase MCP server. I could literally tell it to set up authentication, review the schema, add tables, edit tables, remove data, create different routes. And this is going to allow me to not just streamline my development process, but then also debug anything that happens along the way. And in the next video, guys, you're going to get my five top MCP servers that is helping me build and ship iOS apps at scale. I hope this helped and see you in the next one.